Recently, I made a short video making sure that you got wind of the fact that this Curator Endpoint Content extension has been updated. The content team has uh, created a great deal of rules that are aimed specifically to ransomware, which is so important uh, at this uh, time where we are. In this video series, we're going to be actually showing exploitation and basically testing and showing how these uh, rules will work. One of the things that uh, people have been doing, uh, it's a feature that Microsoft has, is use shadow copies, which is uh, if you go to the control panel on their security and you go here, you can actually uh, create, like I did, a shadow copy of my system. So in case that something like ransomware goes wrong, you will hope that you can actually uh, restore it in here. But as things uh, happen, the bad guys had got wind of that and they can actually delete that shadow copy. Let me actually issue that command. So by just issuing this particular command, I'm actually destroying that last hope of recovering from that backup. Let's actually see how Curator with that content extension detects that. So that action trigger actually two offenses. This one is uh, has been renamed by the offense itself. That shadow copy has been removed. And that's one of the rules that come in the, in the package. And the other one Let's go back to the other offense. If we display the rules, notice that there are two rules in, actually in there. One is an attempt, whether successful or not, to delete the shadow copy, but also this one that has to do with the invocation of that particular command. So these are things that should not be happening. I mean, and if they do happen, you should investigate them. These are going to be short video siege. Let's move into the next uh, use case.